हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर फ्रेंड शादाब इमाम एंड करेंटली वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक ऑफ गेम थ्योरी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर वेरिएशन इन द गेम थ्योरी प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द डोमिनेंस रूल सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट द बेलाइकन सो लेट अस मूव अहेड एंड बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द प्रॉब्लम लेट अस हैव अ रिकैप वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द डोमिनेंस रूल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर so in previous lecture we have seen that if there is no saddle point in a game then we will try to reduce that matrix into 2 cross 2 with the help of dominance rule and we have also seen that dominance rule can be done in two manners first is row domination second is column domination in row domination the dominated row or we can say each element of the dominated row must be less than or equal to the other existing row similarly in column domination we have seen that each element in the dominated column must be greater than or equal to to the other existing column and we have done an example based on this and now i want to add one more part on this dominance rule it is that a row or a column can also be dominated by the combination of two or more rows or two or more columns or we can simply say that that one strategy can also be dominated by the combination of two or more strategies so we will we are going to see that in this particular problem so let us now move towards the problem and here the problem says that reduce the following game by dominance and find the game value here there is a pf matrix given player a has four strategies player b has four strategies and now as in any problem first we will try to find out that if there is a saddle point or not now to calculate the saddle point we will quickly calculate row min so the minimum element in the row this is 0 2 0 and 0 now among these minimum values we will try to find the maximum value so 2 is the maximum value so this is the maximum value so this is our maximum value similarly we will calculate the column max and in column max we will select the maximum value in each row so let us quickly calculate the maximum values in each uh, sorry in each column so these are the maximum value and now we will select the minimum value among these so we can see here that there are three minimum values 4 4 and 4 and these three values are the mini max values and now we can see that the maximum value is 2 and the mini max value is coming as 4 so we can say from here that mini max value is not equal to maximum value which suggests that in this particular game saddle point does not exist now as we now know that there is no saddle point in this matrix we will try to reduce this matrix using the dominance rule so let us move ahead and before that let me clean this so now let us compare the rows and columns to find the dominance in this particular matrix so let us first compare the rows so let us compare row 1 and row 2 so this is 3 3 both are equal this is 2 this is 4 that means 2 is dominating one this is 2 this is 4 here 4 is greater here 2 is lesser that means there is no dominance between row 1 and row 2 now let us compare row 1 with row 3 so this is 3 this is 4 so this is greater 2 and 2 are equal 4 and 4 are equal 0 and 0 are equal now in this comparison we can see that each element in row 3 is either greater than or equal to each element in row 1 so from here we can say that row 1 is dominated row 1 is dominated by 
रो थ्री बिकॉज ईच एलिमेंट इन रो वन इज इधर लेस देन और इक्वल टू ईच एलिमेंट इन रो थ्री सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस वी विल एलिमिनेट रो वन फ्रॉम हियर सो लेट एस सी इफ वी एलिमिनेट रो वन सो नाउ आफ्टर डिलीटिंग और एलिमिनेटिंग रो वन दिस इज अवर न्यू रिड्यूस्ड मेट्रिक्स एंड इन दिस मेट्रिक्स ऑल्सो वी विल सी एंड कंपेयर rows and columns to find dominance so let us compare row 2 and row 3 this is 3 this is 4 this is greater this is 4 this is 2 this is lesser that means row 2 and row 3 has no dominance now let us compare row 2 and row 4 so this is 3 this is 0 this one is greater this is 4 and 4 they are equal this is 2 this is 0 so this is greater this is 4 this is 8 so this is lesser so we can see here that these three values are equal to or greater values but this one value is lesser than this value that means each element is not equal to or greater than so we can say that there is no dominance between row 2 and row 4 now let us compare row 3 and row 4 so this is 4 this is 0 this one is greater this is 2 this is 4 this one is lesser so since this is greater this is lesser we can say that there is no dominance between row 3 and row 4 now let us compare column so first we'll compare column 1 with column 2 so this is 3 this is 4 so this is greater this is 4 this is 2 so this is lesser that means there is no dominance between column 1 and column 2 Now let us compare column 1 and column 3. So this is 3, this is 2. So this is greater. This is 4, this is 4 equal, this is 0, 0 equal. Now from this comparison we can see uh, we can say that each element in column 1 is either greater than or equal to each element in column 3. And in column domination we have already studied that the dominated column must have each element of the dominated column either greater than or equal to the other existing column so here this is greater than this these two are equal these two are equal so from here we can say that column 1 is dominated by column 3 so we can say that column 1 is dominated by column 3 now as a result we will eliminate column 1 now let us see uh, what will be the matrix after eliminating column 1 so this is our new reduced matrix after eliminating column 1 Now in this matrix also let us compare for dominance so let us compare row 2 and row 3 so this is 4 this is 2 this is greater this is 2 this is 4 this is lesser so this is greater and this one is lesser and this shows that there is no dominance between row 2 and row 3 now let us compare row 2 and row 4 This is four. This is four equal. This is two. This is zero. This one is greater. This is four. This is eight. So this is lesser. So we can see here this is greater. This is lesser. So we can see that here also we do not have any dominance between row two and row four. Now let us compare row three and row four. So this is two. This is four. This is greater. this is 4 this is 0 this is lesser so this is greater this is lesser this shows that there is no dominance between row 3 and row 4 now let us see the columns now let us compare column 2 and column 3 so this is 4 this is 2 so this one is greater this is 2 this is 4 this one is lesser so this is greater this is lesser this shows that there is no dominance between column 2 and column 3 now let us compare column 2 and column 4 so this is 4 this is 4 equal this is 2 this is 
this one is greater this is 4 this is 8 so this is smaller so here this one is greater this one is smaller this shows that there is no dominance between column 2 and column 4 now let us compare column 3 and column 4 so this is 2 this is 4 this one is greater this is 4 this is 0 this one is lesser so this is greater this is lesser this shows that there is no dominance between column 3 and column 4 so from now, till now we have seen that we do not find any dominance individual by row or by column now in this particular situation what we try to do is we will try to see that if there is a chance that one row or one column is dominated by combination of two rows or two column so let us see here and from here we can see that if we compare column 2 with combination of 3 and 4 okay we will compare column 2 with combination of 3 and 4 so this is column 2 4 2 and 4 this is column 2 and the combination of 3 and 4 that means the average value of column 3 and column 4 so it is column 3 plus column 4 divided by 2 and this is 4 plus 2 6 6 by 2 is 3 so this is 3 4 plus 0 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 so this is 2 this is 8 plus 0 8 divided by 2 is 4 so actual comparison is between these two values this is column 2 and this is combination of column 3 and 4 so by comparing this we can see that this is greater than this this is equal to this this is equal to this this suggests that column 2 is dominated by the combination of column 3 and column 4 because each value in this particular column is either greater than or equal to the other values so as a result of this column 2 column 2 is dominated by combination of combination of column 3 and 4 now as a result of this we will eliminate column 2 so the new matrix is this after eliminating the column 2 now in this matrix also we will compare rows and column for dominance first so let us compare row 2 and row 3 so this is 2 this is 4 this one is greater this is 4 this is 0 this one is lesser so this is greater this is lesser this shows that there is no dominance between row 2 and row 3 now let us compare row 2 and row 4 this is 2 this is 0 this one is greater this is 4 this is 8 this one is lesser so this is greater this is lesser that means there is no dominance between row 2 and row 4 now let us compare row 3 and row 4 this is 4 this is 0 this is 0 this is 8 so this one is greater this one is lesser or we can say there is no dominance between row 3 and row 4 similarly we will compare column 3 and column 4 so this is 2 this is 4 this one is greater this is 4 this is 0 this one is lesser that means that there is no dominance between column 3 and column 4 now again we will try to see that if there is any possibility that one row or one column is dominated by the combination of other two so let us see here now if we compare row 2 with the combination of row 3 and row 4 so we can see it like this this is row 2 and this is row 3 plus row 4 divided by 2 so from here 
we can see that row 2 is 2 and 4 and the combination of 3 and 4 is 4 plus 0 is 4 divided by 2 is 4 by 2 that means 2 similarly here 0 plus 8 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 so now we will compare row 2 with the combination of row 3 and row 4 or we can say average of row 3 and row 4 now as we analyze these values we can see that both the values are equal now in this particular case where the values are equal we will always assume that the <coughs> row or column with single identity that means a single row or a single column is always considered as a dominated row or dominated column so in this particular example we will assume that here row 2 is dominated by the combination of row 3 and row 4 similarly if there is a case of column also we will always consider the single column as the dominated column by the other two columns so from here we can say that row 2 is dominated by the combination of row 3 and row 4 so we will write it here row 2 is dominated by combination of row 3 and 4 and as a result of that we will eliminate row 2 so let us see what will be the matrix after eliminating row 2 so this is our new reduced matrix and now we can see that our matrix has been reduced to a 2 cross 2 matrix from where we can easily find the solution with the help of mixed strategy now uh, in order to find the solution we need to calculate the oddments here and we have already seen in previous lectures that oddment is nothing but the differences in rows and column so let us see here first we'll take row 3 the difference here is 4 minus 0 4 and we will write that difference against the opposite row so the difference here is 4 so we will write 4 here similarly when we consider row 4 the difference here is 8 8 minus 0 and we will write this difference against the opposite row so this is 8 similarly we will do it with column also in column 3 the difference here is 4 4 minus 0 is 4 and we will write this difference against the opposite column so this is 4 similarly we will see column 4 the difference here is 8 8 minus 0 is 8 and we will write this difference against the opposite column so this one is 8 now in order to find the probability let us assume that p 3 is the probability of player A playing strategy 3 which is equal to 8 divided by 8 plus 4 so this is 8 divided by 8 plus 4 is 12 which is equivalent to 2 by 3 and here the probability of player A playing strategy 4 is given by P4 which is equivalent to this 4 divided by 4 plus 8 so this is 4 divided by 4 plus 8 is 12 so this is 12 which is equivalent to 1 by 3 similarly we will find out the probability of player b playing strategy 3 so let q3 be the probability of player b playing strategy 3 here the probability is equal to 8 divided by 8 plus 4 so this is 8 divided by 8 plus 4 is 12 so 8 by 12 or we can simply say 2 by 3 similarly the probability of player b playing strategy 4 is given by q 1 4 which is equivalent to 4 divided by 4 plus 8 so this is 4 divided by 4 plus 8 is 12 or we can say this is equivalent to 1 by 3 
so and this means that player a will play strategy 3 2 by 3 times or we can say 66.66 percent of time similarly player a will play strategy 4 1 by 3 times or we can say 33.33 percent of time similarly player b will play strategy 3 8 by 12 times or we can say 2 by 3 times or we can say 66.66 percent of time similarly player b will play strategy 4 4 by 12 times or we can say 1 by 3 times or we can say 33.33 percent of time now let us calculate the value of game here so the value of game we know is very easy to calculate and value of game is calculated with the help of any row or any column so let us select row 3 and what we are going to do is this element of row 3 multiply by its corresponding probability plus this element multiply by its corresponding probability and adding all these values so let us see here the value of game can be 4 multiply by 8 by 12 4 multiply by 8 by 12 or we can write it 2 by 3 plus 0 multiply by 4 by 12 or we can say 0 multiply by 1 by 3 from here we can see that this is 8 by 3 this is 0 so the value of game here is 8 by 3 so the value of game for player a and player b is coming as 8 by 3 and this value of game is for both players a and b because whenever the sum of oddments horizontally and vertically are equal as in this case these are the oddments so the sum is 12 here also it is coming as 12 so when the horizontally and vertically sum of oddments are equal then the value of game will be same for both the players and similarly and similarly we can see here the optimal strategy for player a and player b are given by this is optimal strategy for player a and it is given by 0 0 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 because in the original matrix we have seen that player a has four strategies and player a will play strategy 1 0 percent of time strategy 2 0 percent of time this is because in this particular matrix we can see that strategy 1 and 2 are eliminated so that's why player a will play strategy 1 and 2 0 percent of time and strategy 3 2 by 3 percent of time or we can say 2 by 3 times strategy 4 1 by 3 times similarly the optimal strategy for player b can also be determined and it is given by 0 0 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 in the initial matrix we can see that player b also has four strategies and the probability of player b playing strategy 1 is 0 playing strategy 2 is also 0 because from here we can see that the strategy 1 and 2 for player b is eliminated that means player b will not play strategy 1 and 2 similarly player b will play strategy 3 2 by 3 times and strategy 4 1 by 3 times so these are the optimal strategies for a and b and this is the value of game so i hope this is clear to you if you like the lecture please share the lecture have a nice day thank you